What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Did anything look out of place to you guys? I was hoping you wouldn't notice, but I feel like I gotta say something. We have the path to the upstairs barricaded with a dry erase board. That little man on the second step thought it'd be a great idea to take a poop in every bedroom we got up there. Not just one, not just two, all of them. So needless to say, for the time being, his upstairs privileges have been revoked. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen the entire scandal unfold. But if not, I had to let you know that wasn't an interior decorating decision. Thank God he's cute, because if he wasn't, I'd probably be in negotiations to do a swap for a cat. But for now, I think we'll keep him. I think we'll keep him. In today's video, we're making an anabolic fast food favorite. Everybody loves chicken nuggets. Everybody loves Chick-fil-A. Except for on Sundays. You're not allowed to love it then. Chick-fil-A's got some of the best chicken nuggets in the business. The only issue with traditional chicken nuggets, even their grilled ones, is the addition of extra fat, extra calories that we don't want. Chicken nuggets are easy. It's already anabolic because there's protein in it. But when you add the breading, the fatty oils, and everything else to the concoction, you end up with a lot of extra calories that your body doesn't need, man. So today, we're going to change that. With this recipe, we will be making anabolic Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets. Tender and juicy pieces of bite-sized chicken breast marinated in a secret concoction that's gonna lock in that signature Chick-fil-A flavor covered with a secret blend of herbs and spices. Not only are we drastically cutting down the calories, we are making chicken breast delicious again. I'm telling you, man, you give this one a try, you won't be disappointed. I guarantee it. As always, if you have the RGF recipe book, link in description, it's been updated. This recipe's in there along with every other anabolic recipe that I drop on this channel and all the ones that I drop in the future. Because you get it one time, you get every future recipe for free, man. Best out I've ever done. Hands down, the most sustainable. If you've been failing at other diets, perhaps this could be your secret weapon. Link in description, baby. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! All right. First thing we're gonna wanna grab is a food scale and a cutting board and meat shears. You can use a knife if you want, but I'm just telling you, bud, you're wasting your time and when you lose a pinky finger and it falls into the chicken fingers and someone eats it on accident, they're gonna sue you for everything you got. So the first thing we wanna do is get our chicken nuggets ready and what better for chicken nuggets than chicken breast tenderloin. So we need 224 grams and what I'm actually gonna do is take each of my tenderloins and cut them into little bite-sized pieces about yay big. Now I wanna give a shout out to Butcher Box. They actually sent me all of this chicken to use in my videos, man. And I actually ship all of this right to your door, man. So if you're one of the people that is just terrified to leave the house right now, I don't blame you. Check them out, man. Link in description. They can get you hooked up, bud. And it's not just chicken either, man. They get a wide variety of meat. Now I'm just gonna weigh out my chicken pieces until I reach 224 grams. Now I'm just gonna transfer them to a large plastic cup, or I mean, you can use Tupperware, use whatever you want, man. As long as it holds the chicken and has a lid, you're good. Now in order to lock in that signature Chick-fil-A flavor, we have to let these marinate for a little bit. Two secret marinade ingredients, we're gonna need pickle juice. You don't need the actual pickle, but get you a jar because we want that juice. And a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. We're gonna let it sit in there for a minute. It's really gonna lock in that flavor, but don't take my word for it. I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna start with 90 grams of our pickle juice. Got this sitting on the scale. I'm watching that number go up as I pour. And then we only need about 30 grams of our almond almond milk. Unsweetened, baby. And once it's all in there, shake it up so it all mixes together. So now we just gotta let our chicken nuggets marinate. At a minimum, you wanna do 30 minutes. We'll toss it in the fridge, but hold up. We don't gotta wait on it because uh, I'm a thinking boy. I did one in advance, so we'd be good to go. This has been for about 90 minutes. Safe to say, I think we're good. So all we'll do is take a mini strainer and strain our chicken off right in there and let it drain. Just give her a couple shakes, bud. You know what to do. And once they're strained, I'll just transfer it to a plate. Now in order to make sure we capture that signature flavor, we gotta make a seasoning blend. Start off with two grams of salt, gonna need two grams of black pepper, two more grams of garlic powder, one gram of paprika, and finally two grams of a zero calorie sweetener. And once it's all in here, just go in and stir it up a little bit with a spoon till it's all thoroughly combined. So at this point, we got our marinated chicken, we got our seasoning, we're practically done. All I'm gonna do is take one piece at a time of my chicken, drop in the seasoning mix, spin it, roll it, make sure she's covered, and transfer it to a little plate I got off onto the side, just like so. And we're gonna continue grabbing, dipping, and flipping until they're all seasoned. But honestly, if you want to, you can just dump all your chicken in there and let it do its thing, but I got a thumbnail to take, guys. I gotta make sure this looks pretty or y'all won't watch the video. So if you made it this far, please, Lord have mercy, smash that thumbs up button for me. Helps the channel out more than you know. Boom, 
our chicken is marinated, it's seasoned, and it smells incredible. I just wouldn't advise eating it like this. A little thing called salmonella. We don't want that, so we gotta cook it. What I'm gonna do is air fry it at 400 degrees for about eight to 12 minutes. And if you don't got an air fryer, 400 degrees, about 16 to 20 minutes in your oven will work just fine. So don't you worry, we got you covered. I'm just gonna hit my air fryer basket with a little non-stick. I'm just gonna set all my chicken right down in here. Make sure you give it a little bit of space between each piece, that way they're all crispy, all delicious, and they all cook right. Now we're just gonna toss it down in here, close the lid, set it at 400 degrees, I'm gonna start at about 12 minutes, and we're off. And boom, after just 10 minutes in the air fryer, our Chick-fil-A chicken nuggets are done. Not only do these things smell incredible, guys, if you can just see the way that they turned out, like the way that the air fryer like crisps everything to them, they're not slimy, they're not sticky, it's literally just a thick nugget. Seriously, if these taste as good as they smell, then boys, we got us another one. All right, guys, we've been staring at it long enough. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag, and try these things together. You guys ready? Let's go. All right, guys, time to get this show on the road. I got my handy dandy gallon jug on me. What I do, man, people ask, how do you drink so much water, Rem? And to be honest, uh, when it tastes like Kool-Aid, it's really easy. I do two scoops of Final Boss Aminos decaf in every single gallon of water I drink. Not only does it taste incredible, but um, it tastes incredible. Mm. <sighs> two scoops, your entire gallon's gonna be lit up, I promise. Available at FinalBossFormers.com, Amazon.com, free today shipping, code RGF10, 10% saves you 10%. I didn't make any sense. You guys know the drill, and uh, apparel launch just came out, man. Anchor Fitness shirts, RJF shirts, finalbossathletics.com. It's a great fit. Cut the sleeves off. Show the people you mean business. Can't really beat it. Okay, let's get in here and try a nug, man. I'm gonna do that one right there. No sauce, no nothing. We're gonna take her straight to the dome. Three, two, one. Wow, let me be brutally honest right here. What we're eating is essentially just chicken breast. Most everything else we added to get these to this flavor didn't add any calories at all. Pickle juice, no calories. Almond milk has some calories. We use such a little amount and then we dumped almost all of it out. So it's negligible. All the seasoning, zero calorie sweetener, they're not adding anything to it. So essentially we're eating just chicken breast right here. And without adding any calories, somehow these have locked in so much flavor, it's mind boggling really. Mm -hmm. There's like a subtle hint of pickle. It's not overwhelming. I don't even really like pickles myself, but. Okay. Maybe I do now, but they're a little salty a little peppery that little hint of paprika They're a tiny bit sweet from the zero calorie sweetener, but like just the blending of flavors here. It's phenomenal mm. You don't even need sauce for it, man. Oh, wow. And if we're being honest There's a, no recipe that is more anabolic than one that is just chicken. You don't really get better than that, bud You just don't um, all in all we maybe have two dollars wrapped into this recipe The only expense we really have is our time, but that time is an investment into yourself That's why I always say with the anabolic diet with these recipes you can eat the foods you love You just got to spend the time to cook it man You got to learn to enjoy this process the same way you're going to the gym You're investing time in the supplements things like that invest time in yourself invest time in your nutrition Which is arguably the most important part of this entire process How many people do you know that kill themselves in the gym every single week, but they can't lose weight But they can't get lean you can never really see the muscle because it's hidden underneath layers of fat because the most crucial component of this whole thing is the freaking diet. And most people can't dial that in. I'm telling you guys, you get in here, you make the meals you like, you enjoy what you do, you spend a little bit of time cooking, it can literally change your life, man. It changed mine. No longer do I go through cycles in my life where I'm lean because I did a 12 week cut and then I rebound all my weight and I'm fat for four months. I don't do that anymore, man. I can stay lean year round like this because I enjoy what I'm doing. I love what I'm doing. That's the secret sauce right there. Hum. So we've had about half the recipe without sauce. Let's throw in some G Hughes sweet and spicy into the mix. As I always say, everyone leaves satisfied when G's on top. Just a little bit right there, bud. For a nice little dip and mm, now that's a chicken nugget. Wow. Mm. Sauces too, man. Regular barbecue sauce. Loaded with sugar. Loaded with calories. You don't need it. You swap it for something like this. No sugar. Minimal calories. Pretty negligible. You ain't gonna notice the difference, man. It's about making better choices. Don't drink the regular soda. Drink the diet. Don't use real sugar. Use the fake stuff. Zero calories. Not that hard, people. It really ain't. And as good as this is, man, it's literally like just protein. So I'm already getting full. It's really hard for your body to go into binge mode when you're eating chicken. When's the last time you were eating chicken? You finished your chicken and your brain goes, I need more chicken. <laughs> it doesn't happen. Down to the nitty gritty. Give her a dip, a slide, and hum. Oh. Mm. So in this entire recipe, if you made it exactly how I did, every ingredient, every step, you end up with 222 calories, only two grams of fat, 50 grams of protein, one gram of carbs. I mean, I ain't even gotta say it. That's, uh, you're not gonna get mad 
macro is better than that. Unless you're hunched over a river with a spear, you stab a tilapia, pull it out raw and bite into it, you're not doing better than that, bud. That's about as anabolic as she gets. Like I always say, the only two things that matter when you're trying to see results, when you're trying to burn body fat, build muscle, maintain muscle, not burn it off when in the calorie deficit is hit your protein goal every day, hit your calorie goal every single day. Watch my video on how to make your own anabolic meal plan if you want more information on that because uh, this video is probably long enough as it is. But seriously guys, it's that easy. Don't overthink it. Do those two things and you can't fail. I guarantee it. As always, if you have the RJF recipe book, link in description. It's been updated. This is in there. Other recipes that are on the channel are in there. My entire anabolic playbook is right here, man. You get it one time, you get every future recipe for free. I'm adding to it every single week. So you're always getting something new, man. If you want to stay excited, if you want to keep having new things to try in the kitchen, might be the best investment you ever made, man. It's going to give you a lot of recipes, a lot of little projects to do, man. Next Saturday night, instead of going out to dinner, spending a hundred dollars, get the ingredients, come in the kitchen, bond with your family, make something for the missus. And when you both wake up a little leaner, or a little tighter, and she's got to go get a razor to shave off that beard she grew overnight, you're going to thank me. And if all this sounds complicated and you want to skip a lot of steps and you just want somebody to make you a plan, tell you what to do, you know that if you follow it, you're going to see results. Check out my site, rojfitness.com, my personal trainer. I'll make you a program. You do what I say, you're going to get where you need to be. I don't want to hear no excuses. I don't want no wimps signing up. If you think you're on the fence about it, don't even sign up because I don't need that energy in my life. But if you're willing to commit and make a change, check it out. Appreciate you guys, as always, for watching. Comment a recipe you want to see me make down below. I'm having fun doing these like copycat recipes where I try to find fast food or restaurant items and make healthy versions of them. So y'all let me know. I'll take it as a challenge and I'll get to work. Comment anything down below. Smash thumbs up button. Helps the channel out more than you know. Helps the algorithm. Helps uh, people see these videos, man. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see each and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. We can slide back. Just got to put a little more force into it.